I, like mental health is the one I'm reading right now. It's based off that. And so um, three words. This is something that the book teaches the people who read it to mm-hmm. do. So you pick three words that describe yourself now and three words that describe the person you want to become. And so when I pick those three words, I think of intent, outwork, and um, impact. I want to impact everyone in my life. Um, I want to live with intent through all the things I do every day. And I want to outwork people and I'll work my past self. And so those three words I live by every day. And at the end of the day, I want to be able to say that I did each of those. And if I did, that's where I find my fulfillment. And although like our identity shouldn't be based off what we do and um, self image, obviously, and how much we have accomplished throughout the day or a thing. Like I identify myself with the gym. Mm-hmm. It's not a good thing, but that's the point I am at in my life. And so if I and can, yeah. It, we're like, and you're saying like, since not to say like, like I said, like everyone has a different thing. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be just to be the gym. You can find your own, but also advising that you should diversify the things you're into. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and then when you find you just, your identity is so much more than how, what you do or your interest in your hobbies. It's who you are as a person, your soul. And so that's why when I live by these three words, I feel like I'm growing and finding more about myself and who I am created to be. What were your three words again? Intent, impact, and outwork. I-I-O. <laughs> I-I-O. I you thought about acronym it. For well, it. yeah, because I was like, well, like, I need to make sure, like, I can't just, like, this is who I want to become. Yeah. And I want, like like automatically those are the three words that came to mind and i remember two years or about a year ago i wanted to be known for hard my hard work and it wasn't necessarily in other people's eyes but more myself i wanted to know that i work hard every day and that like i can die knowing that i am who i want to be and i reached that point like if i were to die today i'd be the happiest person on earth because i'd be everything in my life you were just true to yourself Mm -hmm. what like and i think like when you're saying like oh exercise and being like your only thing well you got to look at it deeper than that. Mm-hmm. You have the ability to exercise. It's made so. me who I am. It's, yeah, it's made it's you who made you are, but, mind, not, but yeah. not just in a point of like you're only searching for results. You're finding pure happiness yeah. and finding that fulfillment mm-hmm. in anything, but also taking time to study like your mental mm-hmm. health, reading books mm-hmm. on that. That's also another big thing we promote here. Yeah. And it's for me, when I like accomplish a goal in the gym, it correlates to like now I'm ready to accomplish the goal in my career and a university and education it's just all these aspects and you have to find your hobby and once you find it and it's going to impact you in a growth way you're ready to impact other people and impact yourself in all these other directions exactly like you can't like you were saying like focusing on yourself will help other people more because Mm -hmm. if you're truly happy inside you give out that positive energy you can't impact other people in the most efficient way that you want to if you're not happy with yourself exactly that's like, why yeah it's like putting that like you're putting on a fake smile but in reality it's only hurting you. It's hurting you more you know what i'm saying and there's other people out there that care about you yeah. that want to see you happy too like it's it goes both ways kind mm-hmm. of a way and talking about like you're doing it for yourself like you're saying like you had that eating disorder and it didn't reflect yeah. directly the mindset you had can you talk about that more? Mm-hmm. So, like, the eating disorder that I had, um, it was more of just internal conflict, and it wasn't necessarily towards I want to show people how mm, small I am. It was more like I want... It was me not being able to eat was a sacrifice that I made for myself, so now I am higher up in life, and now I am accomplishing more, even though it wasn't. that's not true. Mm-hmm. But that's how I felt. So when I was able to finish a workout and eat as little as possible, I just increased my level of confidence, even though at the time, it that's such a negative way. It wasn't the healthy It wasn't thing. the way to um, actually build self-fulfillment. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, there's a fly in here. Low fly, but you you found that through lifting lifting and Mm -hmm. it was like it was like for you that even though you didn't have the exact image you wanted in a way and Mm -hmm. even though it wasn't the healthiest way it still kept you motivated i felt because i would work out in the at 5 a.m in the morning so then i go to school and then i would come home so like for me i was like i was hard working i was doing what i wanted to do Mm -hmm. so that's where i felt confident at and if i didn't do that now i was lower than everyone and that for me that's when i was insecure so like for most people because it's a self-comparison on like most people compare their bodies, I compared how much I achieved in my day. And like now I don't 
I don't look at anybody else's building or what they're doing or how much they accomplish in their day because this is my life and I might do it a different way. Facts on facts on facts. Like we need to stop worrying so much about what other people do. And in the age of social media, that's like the, that's what social media is tells us to do yeah. it. like you're worried about oh what did this person post or mm-hmm. what is this news like? like you need you know you need to stay informed of course yeah. but when you just are over like we're over presented mm-hmm. so much information only, that's it's unnecessary just like, not to like bring in politics but you only watch one person or then if you only watch the news you only have yeah. their point of view it's not your point of view it's theirs yeah. so you're influenced by what they say you think you believe what you believe but you're listening to them so what they say influences you and on social media you only see what the person posts you're yeah. influenced by the only thing that they post exactly. that is it and we're back had a little pause and break but so throughout your journey you've you've really focused on the idea of like mentality it wasn't a mm-hmm. thing that was just an appearance it was all in your mindset and how yeah. you perceived yourself well at the end of the day your appearance isn't going to get you anywhere it's your mindset you're not gonna you can't look at a goal and be like well my appearance is going to overcome it mm-hmm. no like it's internal how can, so if you're limiting yourself in your mind you're limiting yourself in your life it's like the idea of your mind is so powerful like the like what your brain can do mm-hmm. what you believe yeah. in can be so strong to affect what your results yeah. are and for you it was like i'm not just going to uh think that oh like this is this is how i want to look this it was like i'm determined to get this like you yeah. set your goals and- i want to make myself overcome challenges to push me further in life and to grow. I don't care about the image. I want to make sure that I can grow as a person and that is why I can like compete today. Would you would you benefit the fact of just like competing and getting into uh like working out and lifting that it did help grow that mindset. It helped oh, it started like it starts off mm-hmm. as like let me hit this weight but then over time it became something that fed into all parts of your life. Uh-huh. So like when you achieve a goal in the gym or in any hobby that you achieve a goal in, it's going to affect your day and how you um anticipate other things in life so when i achieve a goal in the gym like i'm gonna achieve a goal in other aspects of my career and um school or anything i do i want to overcome any challenge because i and i know i can because i did it in the gym i did it in this way that's it it reflects everything and it started feeding and like okay now like like you said you're a person that's big on making sure you're as productive as Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would agree the same way. So mm-hmm. it fed into like, okay, I'm gonna do. I'm determined to not just be productive in the yeah. gym, but I'm gonna read a book mm-hmm. or I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna and it's, do that. Yeah, and then like if you're if you're productive towards the things that you want to grow at, it's even better because you can be productive and that means you went out and enjoyed some time with friends and then you partied and you were busy all day. Being busy and being productive are two separate things. Being, I, yeah. I would 100% agree because sometimes you feel like through your life you're always busy. People feel like yeah. they're always like consumed by they going out or something like that. But you know, taking the time to just yeah. you know step back and be productive in terms of like a personal goal, whether it's you want to learn or whether it's just something that you just want to improve yourself at. And I think mm-hmm. that's so important to have like knowing that difference between being productive, being busy. But so I want to really ask on the question like when you're talking about the mindset. How difficult was it for you to keep a strong mindset, even though your physical image wasn't reflecting where where you wanted to be at? Well, it's the same. So basically, every prep um, a competitor goes through, you start really you have you're in like a bulk. You have body fat and a lot of um, on you have covered uh, muscle tissue, so you're not lean. And then you go through this prep and you end up lean as crap (laughs) to go on stage um that whole process right there is all all um internal and how it deals with a lot of self-image because you're changing but you're choosing to change you're choosing to change in the gym you're choosing to change in your food as well because you're decreasing what you're eating so you're and and just to highlight to some people like the mentality of there's a rule about 80 20 it's 20 percent about what you know and 80 percent about what you can do so you may know like i gotta eat right to get here i gotta do this but to actually push yourself mentally to be consistent and i know like on a competitive diet like y'all are strict strict before the competition so it, it played mentality yeah. played a big part of it and so if you have a strong like you will not be able to do a prep um, successfully if you don't even have a strong mindset. That's why, like, I admire the people that are high, high, um, high up there in the Olympians. But um, that's with anything in life. If you want to overcome a challenge and you want to get to a success point or you want to be the most successful person in this area, 
you're going to have to come overcome many challenges and you're going to have to hit many low points and then you're going to have to um, build yourself out, but you're going to have to have a strong mentality throughout the whole process.